What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is a, a free general collective reading, caps through side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply, everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Free, free general collective reading, so it's very important. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Um, thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. Um, every like, subscribe, share, um, support of my channel, every donation, it all really helps. Single mom and two kids, so it truly really helps. Um, I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I just really do. I do, I do, I do, do. So just saying. Okay, so I received a channel message. Um, so I'm going to share um, the channeling. Um, it's a free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Okay, so the channeling I received was um, several younger officers, um, several younger officers specifically I heard, um, are, about to, uh, are about to encounter very, very, very crazy, chaotic work situations very soon. And then there was some specifics in there. Heard some... Um, um, some gang violence, some using children as collateral in gunfire, which is insane in the membrane. Um, insane in the brain. I mean, that's crazy. Um, uh, okay, so yeah, uh, some, um, some kind of gang violence, some using children as, um, collateral, um, in some kind of, I mean, that, that's crazy. That, that blows my mind. And some, uh, what was the other one? There was another one. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, Multi-person uh, shooting is what I heard. Multi-person shooting was the other one. Um, yeah. Um, but then I heard at the end of that, it was, it was kind of broken up. It was kind of broken up. It took about 10 minutes to get it all out. But um, it was kind of broken up. But... Then I heard, it was about a minute later or so, um, I heard, um, uh, it's going to give these officers, they're going to be so traumatized after these incidents occur that it's going to give them a huge wake-up call as to why they treated a single mother the way they did in the past. That is what I heard. So, um, you plug it in, how it resonates. That is so crazy. It's crazy. It took, like I said, it took about 10 minutes to get the whole channeling out. Um, it took, I mean, I'm serious. I've been up for about 45, 30 or 45 minutes, something like that. 30 or 45 minutes. I was sitting here chilling, um, like I normally do. And then I got the channelings in, but like I said, they didn't come in like quick, 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 quick. Sometimes they come in quick, 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 quick. These, they didn't. Um, I got one. About 45 seconds later, I got the other, you know, that's more. So, just saying, just saying. So, um, so yeah. So, several officers. So, if this, it's some kind of law enforcement community. Um, it's, it sounds like police officers or detectives. I'm think they work in the law enforcement community. So, I'm thinking they're either an investigator, um, a detective, or, um, like, Foot officers, like they, they get respond to calls or they do traffic stops or they work at, you know, they patrol the local um, gas stations or uh, schools or what have you. I mean, I'm not sure you, if you're the officer, you have to plug yourself in wherever you fit and you do, or maybe you're somebody who is connected to this officer in some shape, form, or fashion. However, this resonates, um, but it's several, I heard younger officers. So now younger in the tarot is um deemed as like 25 or below but i have broke it up to 35 or below because the 25 to 40 is the gray area in the tarot um so i have broke it up 35 or below um because it, it says 18 25 then it says 40 and above so you know what happens at 26 to 39 so i'm just saying just saying 30 i say 35 or below I mean, but you take it out resonate. You take it out resonate. Some kind of younger officer energy. To me, it could be a masculine or a femme. Uh, and it's several of them, several younger officers. Um, but I heard after all this goes down, they're going to be so traumatized. Um, and it's in the line of duty, obviously. It's in the line of duty. Um, but I heard apparently they have done something negative. Oh, sorry. 
they have done something negatively in the past to a single mother in some shape, form, or fashion. These younger officers have, but they know they have. They know they have. I heard they're going to be so traumatized after these events. And there's several of these events. I mean, there's gang activity in there. There's um, shooting and stabbings and uh, somebody using a child as collateral in the middle of a shooting, for God's sakes. I mean, how low down can you be? How low down can you be when you use a child in the middle of a as collateral in the middle of a shooting? How low down can you be? You're supposed to be protecting that child, not using the child as collateral. And I'm just being for real about that. How low down can the person be? And I'm serious about that. Um, but it sounds like, like I said, these, it sounds like it's upcoming for these officers. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to. If you're the officer, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Or if you're connected to the officer, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. By the way, I've been using music in my readings. Um, and I will use it from now on um uh to incorporate in my readings so right now i have other side by the red hot chili peppers on other side by the red hot chili peppers so i equate that and you take it how it resonates but i equate that into the messages as basically um the officers are going to have i heard they're going to be traumatized after all this and they're going to seriously i heard they're going to seriously um contemplate and think about how they treated a single mother in the past so they did something very negatively to a single mother in some shape form or fashion in the past um i think they tried to screw her over or they did not help her or something happened where they did not stand up in their because you know officers are under oath officers every single officer i don't care if you respond to calls to homes i don't care if you do traffic stops i don't care if you are chief of police or you are um whoever you are officer of the law i mean y'all know it if you're officer of the law or connected to somebody they're under oath they're under oath and that i don't care if you patrol um businesses or you um work at the school or you what you do you are when you get sworn in as an officer you are sworn in under oath and that's just the truth for real for real um, but I heard they are going, they have done something negatively. These officers sworn in under oath as an officer has done something negatively in the past to a single mother. I heard a single mother, but it's going to make them, I think, flash them back because of all this traumatic crap that's about to happen. It hasn't happened yet, but it sounds like it's about to. Um, so you plugging in how this resonates. This is, um, and the stuff that's about to happen to these officers, younger officers, I'm deeming 35 or below, but you know, one of them might be 35. They might be 36. They might be 37. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Everybody's on a different time of life paths. Just saying, just saying, I just heard younger. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates, but I think it's going to seriously, um, it's obviously going to make them think. Think hard on their actions of the past. Yeah, we have action. Number 15 might be very significant. Number 15, it could be a possible age of a child. Maybe the child that's being used as collateral or one of their children or one of your children, age of one of your children possibly. Um, it could be um, an age of a child you're connected to, a date of birth number, a social security card number, a green card number, a lottery number, number 15, action. These are about to be very, 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 very traumatic events. Very. It is about to open their eyes in a huge way. Some of these officers are about to get severely injured. Some hospitalized. Critical condition. Oh, my Lord. So you plug in and how it resonates. This is terrible. So I heard... Um, it's going to open these officers' eyes in a huge way. They're going to basically, um, uh, this is terrible. This is terrible. I don't know how else to say it. It's going to open their eyes. Um, so wake up call energy here. Um, very traumatic situations here. Um, it's um, fast-paced action, obviously. I mean, uh, obviously, fast-paced action, but negative face fast-paced action with these crazy folks they're having to deal with in the workplace situation which officers they do. I mean, that's part of the job description as a law enforcement official. You take the good and the bad. Um, but these are some crazy, crazy, crazy instances here. I mean, this isn't, you know, going out and play, um, 
hanging out with the community in a positive way. This is like some, our games, gang violence, somebody using a child as collateral, there's shooting energy in here, stabbing energy. I mean, violent, violent, offend, very violent offender energy here. Um, very violent. Um, I heard some of these officers are going to end up in the hospital, hospitalization, critical care. So some of these officers are going to end up with injuries. Um, and I mean, I hate it. I hate it. I hate any officer gets injured anytime. I've always supported law enforcement officials. Always. Um, they're here to serve and protect if they actually do their job correctly. Um, they're here to serve and protect. Um, so, but the action here is the action, negative action of these crazy people, street side selling people about to attack these officers. Um, some of the, and the action of the medical professionals about to help take care of these officers in the hospital because some of them are about to be hospitalized. Um, and I'm just being serious about this. Heard some of them are about to be hospitalized, severe, like critical, um, critical care. So I'm thinking intensive care unit or, um, yeah, I'm thinking intensive care unit or uh, medical intensive care unit, possibly. Um, some kind of intensive care unit, whether it's SI, MI, ICU, you plug it in how it resonates. So action. All right, let's do one more. Spirit messages you have I was going to wait on the, I was going to tell you, I was going to wait on the channeling until the morning. I was going to go to bed, but then I kept, like I said, I got it over the course of like 10, 10 or 15 minutes. I kept getting them, but it was over a long course, like 10, 15 minutes. So I was like, well, I'm putting this out. I was like, because my God, I'm not, <laughs> we're putting it out. Just saying. Yeah. Extremes. Number 34 could be a very significant number in your life. Possibly. Maybe it's a uh, age of one of these officers that's about to get injured. Possibly. Um, over age of you, if you're connected to one of these officers, uh, number 34 could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible date of birth number, possible lottery number, possible jersey number, possible um, green card number, number 34, extremes. And one very violent, very, 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 very violent domestic violence call is about to result in shooting, injury of officer in one situation, officers in another situation. Oh my God, wow. <laughs> this is terrible. So you plug it in how it resonates. So we have a lot of officer injury in, um, um, energy in here. This is terrible. So in one of these situations, uh, it's some kind of domestic call energy. Um, sorry, y'all. I've got something on my neck. Some kind of domestic call energy. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, domestic violence call energy. Some kind of domestic violence call energy. Um, it sounds like two of them, at least two of the universe. Um, because in one of the instances, it's about to get so violent. It sounds like I don't know if they're a registered gun owner. It sounds like it's the person. It sounds like, okay, somebody's going to call on a domestic violence situation, whether it's in the home or a neighbor's calling or somebody's calling, right? It sounds like the officer, or, well, officers probably, because usually they work in pairs. They're rolling up to the scene, right? It sounds like that one, of, one or two plus people in the home or was uh, not, Either they either reside in the home or they're visiting the home, but they're in with the call when the officers arrive. I'm assuming officers because they work in pairs usually. Arrive has a gun, has a gun. So I don't know if it's a licensed gun, if they're a licensed gun owner, or if it's an unlicensed, like illegal, illegal situation where they've got a gun and, you know, um, they don't have a permit, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. You have to plug it in how it resonates. So somebody in this situation has a gun. They have a gun. Just seriously. So however that resonates, it sounds like shots are going to be fired because it's going to get angry and volatile and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it's going to injure in one situation, one of these officers. And in one of these situations, because there's two situations, two plus officers. Um, 
there's a lot of violence in here, a lot of violence. This is terrible. So extreme. So these people with these calls to the law um, are extreme violent um, situations here. They're extremely violent situations. Um, you've got angry domestic call energy. You've got um, people shooting, whether they are licensed and are authorized to carry this gun or they're not. Or guns. Uh, for some, it could be automatic. You know, like freaking mach not well, not machine guns, but like um, you know, not just a, a handgun. Like something more extreme, possibly. Um, you never know. You never know with people. And I'm I'm just being serious. Um, you've got people using children as collateral um, in gang situations and violence, domestic violence. Well, not domestic violence, but violent situations. You've got um, stabbings. You've got, uh, I mean, all kinds of crazy crap going on in here. Let me see if I hear anything else. Um, wherever these people are, these officers, um, like I said, some of them are going to flash back because it's about to be so traumatic, these officers, of how they treated a single mother. And many, 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 many series of chain events are going to occur. Many. Huge regret here now. Fire sign, single mother. Okay, I heard fire sign, single mother. Huge, huge, huge regret here. Um, or it sounds like it's going to be huge regret because whoever this is for, it hasn't happened yet. So, it's, I mean, this is upcoming. So, it sounds like they're going to flash back and have huge regret of how they treated this fire sign mother, this Aries, uh, Aries Leo Sag single mother, and then a ton of series of chain events are going to occur. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe they try to make it right with the series Leo Sag single mother. Maybe they, um, I don't know. Maybe they try to mend fences with them, uh, with, with her. Maybe they uh, deliver some kind of information that can help her. Because I heard they basically didn't help. They hindered her or harmed her in some shape, form, or fashion in the past. But now, it sounds like coming up, they're about to get some very heavy negative karma. And wherever they live, I mean, it could be a small town energy for some of these officers, but I don't, I mean, and I didn't hear whether they reserve, res uh, reside in an urban or a, um, in an urban or rural area. But my presumptive reasoning, logic, and guessment is it's probably a city in the eye slash uh, urban area. Um, there's a lot of violence in here towards these officers. I mean, a lot. And is Joyce just going to get worse? City area for sure. Okay, I heard it. It's just going to get worse. City area for sure. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so it's the city area that these officers reside in. I'm assuming this fire sign single mom reside in. And these crazy upcoming police calls they reside in. Um, and I heard it's just going to get worse. So it's a city anized area. Um, it sounds like obviously violence is very prevalent or it's becoming very prevalent and, um, it's about to become, uh, about to become a very, um, hopefully not a dangerous city. Um, but definitely, um, you know, keeping a watchful eye on your, yourself and your children and people you care about, um, because people are having no, um, um, no uh, regard for the law, apparently. Um, this is terrible. Number 22 might be a very significant number in one's life. Number 22, it could be a possible age of one of these officers or somebody you're connected to. It could be a possible age of the single mother, fire sign single mother, or not. You plug it in how it resonates. Number 22, um, wisdom. It also could be a possible date of birth number, uh, social security card number, lottery number, green card number, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Wisdom. Or jersey number. These younger officers are about to grow up very, very, very quickly. They're about to be forced to. One's about to start having serious mental health issues, serious, because of the past.
Oh my gosh, this is terrible. This is so terrible. I hate seeing officers go through crap like this. I really, really do. I love our people in um, law enforcement. I really, really do. Um, I hate this for whoever this is for. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, this is really terrible. I just want to say this is really, truly terrible. So, um, so I heard basically um, they're about to be forced to grow up. They're younger. They're they're younger. I'm presuming 35 or below, but you have to plug in your life in your city wherever you re uh, resonate um, or wherever this resonates for you. Um, I'm presuming 35 or below, but like I said, some of them will be 35, 36, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you plug in how it resonates, but I heard they're about to be forced to grow up. These traumatic experiences in their workplace are about to make them grow up, basically. Um, I heard they didn't do right thing, uh, right, the right thing with the fire sign single mom in the past. I think, and I heard one of them is about to have such mental health issues, maybe because they did treat this fire sign single mo mother so terribly in the past, or because of the workplace violence, or a coupling of both. I'm not sure. I'm not this uh, younger officer that's about to start experiencing this. But whoever this is, I heard they're about to um, start experiencing such heavy um, mental health issues, basically, because of this. I think the traumatic experiences that is about to occur in the workplace situation and coupled with the fact they treated this fire sign single mother so terribly in the past. This Aries Leo Sag single mom. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. Um, I was, yeah, I didn't hear anything else. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, this is so terrible. Okay. All right, I didn't hear anything else. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make a wonderful, um, have, have a wonderful night, sorry. Um, and namaste.